Hello and welcome back to FTL. Give me a second to check if this is actually recording. Yep, it's recording. If you've been watching my videos, which you probably haven't, um, you would know that I actually already did a video of this, but I made a second video, and that what one was actually recording, and yeah, not to start a new, not to start over again. I do have layout B of this, but I would prefer to start with layout A simply because I never, I just want to beat the game with layout A. Hmm. So I'm just gonna start right now with Valera, Kozar, and Teldarin. Let's see. I'm just gonna put Kozar into the. The, the shields because I don't want to get shot. Well, actually, I will get shot, but it won't hurt so much. And because of this, I'm I'm gonna put 20 of my scrap into the reactor to make uh, my ship faster. When yeah. So I'm gonna go to this first distress beacon. Hopefully, they're not trying to trick us and trying to steal our stuff. Because space is actually a pretty bad neighborhood. I don't give them fuel. They don't give us scrap. Okay. Now I'm what actually I think it's better to explore the first few uh, things, then buy stuff. Because you get I'm not sure if this is right, but I'm pretty sure you get better stuff. At the on the lay later sectors, sector. Also, don't use your missile. Oh crap! They got missiles. Oh crap! This is not good. Uh, our first enemy has missiles. This means that they could totally ignore our shields and directly try to kill us. And that missile fires fast. Good thing for us, they actually can't aim very well. So I may actually be forced to use a missile here before they can use theirs. Because I don't want to accumulate too much damage in the first in the first fight, actually. Ah, crap. They're actually playing smarter than the AI usually does. We're putting our missile up first. Ah, oh, system broken. I have to use two missiles. Oh my! Well, well technically, can't really be blamed because of the fact that you know he's trying to fix the targeting system. We just got this. Well, that works out fine. Hmm. Shields critical. Oh. Oh, crap. Well, the reason I'm saying oh, crap here is because without well, the shields, these meteorites will hit directly in the sh in our directly to our ship. Meaning that we will take a lot of damage, like right there. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? I don't think I'm going to actually take out their shields. And they targeted our shields. No, I don't think I actually played this, played this very bad. I just think that, um, I, well, actually, yeah, I did play it bad. I actually didn't give the guy enough time to actually fix the shield before we lit, left. So I'm actually going to get rid of his shield again. Wasting more precious. How's the power of FTL is broken? Wasting more precious res um, missiles, which is a res. Oh crap! It's not good for anyone. Hey, we won. Shit. Well, since our shields back up, you won't take that so much damage from 
from me yours which should be helpful a random lag spike there for some reason and she's gonna open all doors and see if that actually nope it doesn't help at all when help in getting Now realistic and in, in real life she would have been slammed against the wall then she would have been sucked inside out out of the ship. Good thing is this good thing this is video game logic. Because that would really suck every time your your ship got breached. Which one of you? Ah, crap! I can see the stations. All right, let me check. How are you gonna put? No, coast was on weapons, and he. Yeah, he was uh on shields. Wow, we're almost destroyed. We only had two fights. Ah, uh, usually played better, but it's like the it's like the YouTube court curse. When people just start saying making videos, things go wrong. Well, let me fix that. Then I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let me get to a station. Save those stations, then we're gonna leave. Now, the only loophole I rule that you can buy repairs. Mm. You, you can't actually pierce my shields. Maybe they fire both at the same time, but I don't think you actually pierce them. So let's take a sweet time here. Since so weapons and drones have no worry, we could just shoot at things they need and hopefully they just die. No, 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 no. Uh, that'll be destroyed anyway. I'm going to go to the store force and fix my ship before I go to the stress because it could be a uh, it could be a, a trap. I'm going to take I think both these guys. I'm going to take both these guys. This is. Ah, we can't we can't get gunpowder. Wait. Hmm. Ah crap. Yeah, I don't think we could actually get back in time to actually buy him. Now my question is, how do these pirates get a rebel ship? And how can their weapons charge faster than ours? Oh, oh god, you shoot these weapons. You can't force to use missiles if they have missiles. Simply because of the fact that you really don't have much of a choice. Unless you want to take some damage. And they're not very smart. They kind of took out the missiles instead of.
that was probably a bad move. I probably just should have killed them. And what you gonna do? Like you can't actually once you uh, decide not to kill somebody, you can't just go back and say psych. Apparently, people you play as is kind of honor bound like that. Nope, you can't. You go back there. Hmm. And now that now that's that out. I know. Now that that is out. We go. Yes, you're gonna send them right. Now something that's strange about this game is that if you come back to visit a location and you nothing else happens, like like if you. Like you spend a long time away from that location, you kind of would expect the ship to go back there sooner or later. Yep, they won't give us some money because we got this guy, which was a nice call. I also wish we would got the Mantis because they could fight well, and uh, in some events, they they help your chances. Okay, got some free stuff. Drone recovery. Oh, we need a drone recovery arm. We don't have a drone. I'm going to have to hire a crew member. I'm breaking my own rule already. I'm spending so much money on stuff. I don't get her on the blast door. I hope it's her. I don't know how alien names work. I could just assault it to do right now. Hmm, hard choice. Civilian sector or civilian sector? Civilian sector because it leads so uh, but then again. Now we could just go this one, this one. We could go this one. This one. I actually want to avoid this one right here. Yeah, but maybe I'll be maybe I won't be the best choice. Hmm. So if I could go here, fight some aliens here, fight Amy here, which well since this is one of the first five, all this should be pretty easy to handle. I don't want to end up over here because I have to go to two hostile sectors in the last stand. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go here or here. I'm gonna go over here. The one on top is always the best. Look like a store. All right, so let's see what you got. Nicola or Nicola. I really hope that's a dude. <laughs> hmm, I oh, got two pages. Oh, oh we got nine to sell. Oops, so I'm just gonna fix this and get Nicola on the sensors. Why oh, you put two stores right next to each other? Like, have you, I went to a corner store and had like two of them on the same street. That it, that's never a smart move. Cause you keep on take uh, customers from each other. Oh crap! Fucking hell! Nope, nope, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not gonna leave. Is your friend going to tell her friends where we are and it'll get here faster? Now, even though they're kind of just coming in one huge wave, some of them know exactly, exactly where we are actually makes them come here faster. This guy is kind of like using his fist to hammer the thing back into shape so it works again. 
Oh, give me your weapons. Uh, not worth. Why would you hit that? I play on six anyway. Fucking hell! Why can't we cover their drone? I want to feed drone from this. Now, if I didn't actually change my target, it would have actually hit them. By the time I try to leave. They got Emma. <laughs> Damn, I probably should have just left the old crazy dude there by himself. I don't want to fight this dude. <sighs> you don't want the minus fuel. You don't, you don't even have a drone control. Can't they see this? She probably can't. Okay, now you have no one on the doors. This dude doesn't have any shields for some reason. Which is always a dumb move, even if you're a drone. Oh, I, I like those weapons. Like, they take a long time to charge, but you can fire like massive volleys at once. Okay, how you miss? I know when your friends just died and you're in a bad place, but how you miss? Hmm. I might upgrade this, this, oh, no, can't, can't do that. Because apparently, according to some people, evade is. But you didn't hear that? Evade is one of the best things to upgrade. Hmm. Well, it's pretty unusual for Mantis, Mantis, and NG to work together. Because they're, they're supposed to hate each other. This is one who's a slave. And now this is a mantis ship. I mean that these two these two got Anders. No. I was just being stupid. I was about to say, well these two these two are slaves, but they could easily kill him and this is a mantis ship. They now war species at the mantis will create bigger, stronger ships than this, which is basically a drone that people have to drive. Look at the store. Oh, we could replace Emma. I'm a horrible person. Uh, page two. And not worth it. And a fire drone, that's worth it. Because that thing's effective. Almost, almost, I almost won the game using that. Basically, just causes massive fires, it distracts their crew. And also comes damage. Right, so we actually got kind of replacement for Emma because now we got a door. Now you got stronger doors.
What the fuck? Why would they do that? Why would they use refugee ship as bait? You know, could just people have no problem jumping out people in this in space apparently. So why would they need to hide? My thing to fire first before everything. I'm not just going down to kill them right now. The meta ship also has no med bay. Hmm. I'm probably going to end the video after this. They didn't get a single shot off. Why are they working with the pirates? I mean, how would they be, how the pirates be following them using them as bait if they didn't even notice the pirate? But I don't care, they gave me free stuff.